Hey guys, these are my predictions for the AQA 2016 C3 paper. So, I've said it before, I'll say it again. I am not an examiner. I don't have any inside secrets. I don't know exactly what's going to come up on the exam. I'm just a teacher making guesses. And these are just guesses. So please, please, please revise everything. So, C3 generally has a big maths question. Now, last year's big maths question was something they kind of just threw in there, calorimetry. They haven't done that before, and that was a tricky one. The big maths questions are generally titration or bond enthalpy. Now, they used to alternate these, but with the addition in there of calorimetry, I really can't say what this year's big maths question is going to be. So I'm afraid you're going to have to learn both of those really, really well. Now, they always ask a question about titrations. It's either going to be the maths question or it's going to be the method question. How do you do it? So, with titrations, I'm afraid you can't just learn the maths. You have to learn what is going on as well. For the sixth marker question, they do like asking practical things. Now, this could be the titration question or it could ask you something about specific heat capacity and calorimetry again. Testing for ions is something that comes up a lot and they could make this into the six marker. What they like to do is to give you kind of like a scenario so you have to play being a forensic detective. It's not just gonna be as simple as what color is this? They could ask you something to do with ethical issues. There are a lot of ethical issues that come up in C3. Whether it's to do with water or whether it's to do with alcohol, there's quite a broad scope for them here. Equilibrium is a really hard topic. Combined with the production of ammonia, there is a lot they could ask you here. So I'm afraid the six mark questions here are really, really broad. But if you revise all of those really well, if they come up elsewhere in the paper, you're gonna have a really good chance of doing successfully. Now they love asking about organic chemistry, not just drawing things, but the uses and properties of things. And I think this is an area where they could throw in something really, really hard. I'm gonna make you a couple of separate videos to explain this. But I've always thought that the only ester you need to know was ethyl ethanoate. Now, it wouldn't be too hard to work out other esters, and they might throw that in there for you. So just because previously they've only ever asked about ethyl ethanoate doesn't mean they won't ask about harder ones this time. Same goes for alcohols. They need a way to really, really work out who deserves those A stars. And I think this might be the area they do it in. Now last year's six marker was about water, which means it probably probably don't know won't be the six marker last this year but you should still cover absolutely everything you need to know about it so scale scum hardness removal of hardness and again like i said earlier the ethical issues to do with it like all of the examiners at the moment they love asking experimental questions so you need to know how to do your graphs properly your means your anomalies any patterns that you can see and a risk assessment and planning. They love asking questions like this, so don't forget to do those bits really, really well. So, lots of big topics didn't come up in the 2015 paper, which makes me a little bit suspicious they might come up in a big way this year. So if you haven't started your revision already, I suggest that you start with the periodic table and energy. I think those could be things that come up in a big way in this year's paper. But remember, these are just predictions. I do not know for sure what's going to come up in the paper. Revise everything. Make sure you know everything really, really well. Just use this as a basis. And remember, guys, I'm here to help you with everything. I know how hard you've been working, so I get loads of comments and loads of questions from you guys. Keep it up. I love getting the comments. I love getting the questions. I'm here to help you. And I'm really, really proud of how hard you're working. 
Hey guys, thanks for watching. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you want to say thank you, or if you want access to my online classroom priority video requests, or to the books I'm publishing, you can pop over to Conos or keep up to date with everything on my website. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. And if you follow me on Twitter or like me on Facebook, you'll get all the updates there. Thanks for watching guys. I really hope you found this helpful. Anything else you need, any other help you need, just let me know below.